Good morning, dear friends. My name is Olivier Kuto from IPRS Kigali. I'm here to show you how to control two double acting cylinders with fluid sensors by using a lay control or a lay ladder control. So we're gonna start our system starting with the starting with the pneumatic system. So we have to bring the library. So we go to the pneumatic system, we bring the pressure source. Uh, we will use the exhaust. We also need the double acting cylinder, and then we will need the directional control valve or VCV. So we connect the exhaust, we connect the pressure source, and then if we need to duplicate, you can hold control your control key. You hold it and then you drag the exhaust like that and then we connect the DCV to the double acting cylinder, DCV to the double acting cylinder and then we bring, we go to the pneumatic, we open pneumatic and sensors. So we look for proximity sensor, this is the proximity sensor so we put it here and let's call it 1RS. One or we can use capitals, calculator one R S one like that. Okay. So we put another cylinder just there and let's call it one R S two. Then okay. So we can simulate manually, you know the cylinder is working, so we proceed with the other part of the circuit so we can duplicate because we need two cylinders. And then um, the two cylinders it will be better if they are on the same level. So scroll down just a little bit. And we proceed with the electric control. So we go to the electric control. We will need the start, the stop, first of all the stop. And then the start. We will need a normally closed contact, which will uh, cut off the circuit for the first cylinder to retract. We will need the solenoid, the coil under the solenoid. So that's the coil. Let's call it CR1 as a standard name. And we will need the solenoid. Let us call it Sol1. So we link the Sol1 to the coil, this is the salon to the coil. So simply our circuit we need zero voltage there and the twenty four voltage that's here. So we proceed, we will need the hold on for our circuit, so it is a normally closed, normally open contact and we put it here and I say this is the first normally open like that. And then we will need the proximity switch normally open. Put it here, normally open. And then we will need a coil, another coil, and that's a coil. Let's drag it just down and let's go to CR2 coil. So we can drag it this down. And then we'll need the solenoid here. And this is solenoid sol or this sol two, okay. And we link this to here and that to there. And then we link the ground. We link uh for link we will need a numeric closed proximity switch. This a numeric closed proximity switch, so we put it there. And then we will need link the two, and then we will need a hold on here, just like that. Okay, 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 okay. So we will need this set together, but we have the solenoid, so we can duplicate, and then we delete the solenoid because we only need two solenoids and. We have already them, so 
just move a little bit and then we connect it to there and then we connect that there so we'll name modify and then we click CR3 then OK and then we also have to add that we need to link starting with the name here we shall have this as start this will be my start my stop sorry this is my stop as it is a normally closed push button and uh, this is gonna be my start as uh, it is normally open uh, start this is a start this is the start so we close and this is uh, going to be to Sierra 2 we link and then OK this is a Sierra 3 and then we link then OK uh, now we proceed with the limit switch this is 1 RS2 1 RS2 then we link OK this is 1 RS1 we link then OK so this is Sierra 2, OK, 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 and then this is 2 RS2, that's going to be 2 RS2, and fortunately here we have to add, we have to rename this as a thing, it is a 2, 2 RS2. And this must be named as a 2RS, like that, 2RS2, like that, okay. So 2RS1 and 2RS2. So we will need to have this as 2RS2. So this 2RS2, then we link, then okay. And this is 2RS1, so 2RS1. So we link. Then OK, and then this is CR3, CR3 then we link OK. So let's see whether our circuit is working. And then we start. Uh, it must not work because we didn't link yet the solenoid. So we link the solenoid, solenoid 1, solenoid 1, then we link OK. And we link here the solenoid 2, then we link OK. So we simulate, we start, you know, the cylinder is working, the system is working, you can even have the animation to see what is inside here, you know, it is working, and I would like to thank you guys for watching my video, just subscribe on my YouTube channel, Olivier Vito, and we shall enjoy more videos, more tutorials videos, and you know, here, as just a simple recall, this is the double acting cylinder with the proximity sensor. This is the double acting cylinder for, with a proximity sensor. This is the tuner control valve, 5 port 2 position, electrically controlled by solenoid, as well as this one. And this is the electric control circuit. So, together, when you have a very good program, so you can control, you know, when I have stop, it must stop. And when I have start, it must start. The system is working. Thank you guys, and I hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel or the YouTube. Thank you. May God bless you. Just keep watching the way I'm operating. Okay, you can see. Start. Let's start again. You can simulate the other cylinder. Okay. No. It is simulating goes and it retracts back. When the first cylinder extends, it reaches the full stroke. The, the second cylinder also extends. When it reaches its full stroke, the first cylinder retracts back. And when it reaches its full stroke, the second cylinder also retracts back. And this repeats again and again. As long as you are, you, your circuit is still on, the cylinder will extend as much as possible. And then when it stopped like this, so the cylinder, the system will stop, or the circuit will stop. 
and then when you start again, it starts. You know, you, you can you can build your own circuit. If you have this tutorial, you can build your own circuit, and uh, you can find the simulation programs. Like I'm using the Automation Studio as my simulation program. You can use other simulation programs like uh, Fluid Sim. There's other simulation program. There are too many, and I'm sure you will like this because in the industrial in industries. These things are real. You do them, you practice, you do things in industry, they say, wow. So you, 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 in order to know this, you have to be familiar with the electrical control system because you have to know what is conductor, what is a relay. And uh, the more you do it, the more you know it. The more you like it, the more you are interested in it, the more you are smart in doing it. Thank you guys for watching my video. Just go on YouTube channel, subscribe on my channel. It is Olivier Movito. And the now way to find me, it is in IPR Skigali. Thank you guys. Try to focus here, try to focus here, the way switches, the way contacts are, are switching the circuit and the way the proximity sensors are switching the circuit. So all of these, op they are operating the, <coughs> sorry, they are operating the coil, we have coil 1, coil 2 and the coil 3 and we have the solenoid one. So this solenoid one here in pneumatic system is represented here as solenoid one. And another solenoid here on this pneumatic system is represented here as solenoid 2. And the uh, solenoid is controlled by a contactor. And uh, in the ladder diagram, the contactor will normally use CR, CR1, CR2, CR3, CR4. It is, it is just uh, standard. But you can name, if you name, you put other names, I think it will.